Juno's Modes and Prompts. Let's get you started. Did you ever get someplace and you pause for a moment and kind of wonder where you are and how you got there? I feel that way a lot of times. But when we start looking at router prompts, not so much. We're going to get through some of the details and teach you exactly where you are and how you know where you're going or where you've been. As we get onto a device, we also still have a login prompt. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can go in and do things here. And this is another important delineation for how Juniper devices handle things and also the types of prompts that we're going to get to and what we're going to see in here. Okay, so there's a couple ways that I want to show you for how we go in and do this. Let's take the regular user method first. So we've gone through, we've created users, or we'll get to that part later, but let's assume that there are users on there already. And we want to go ahead and log in as a particular username and see what kind of information. It does help if I log in correctly. All right, there we go. So when we get in here, one of the things that we're going to look at is what prompt that we are actually at or where we see things, how we see things on the screen. OK, so look at it right here and we'll see that the greater than sign prompt that we have is what's known as the user prompt. When I log in as a user, that's the prompt that I'm going to see, and that's where I'm going to start out for my operational mode. Okay, so this is where we can do all the operation commands, my show commands, my clear commands, uh, the basic things about the operation of a system. Now, let's back out a little bit and kind of do things from the root perspective, uh, and we'll see where we get at with it. Okay, so type exit. So we exited out of the system now, we're back to our login prompt, and we're gonna go ahead and go in as root and see what it is that we can do a little bit differently. Okay, so one of the first things that we notice on here is that we're gonna get a different prompt. Now that kind of puts it up a couple lines, so we'll get on here and, and kind of take a look and see where things are at. So notice our percent prompt on there. So that's going to be in the what we call a shell mode. So the root user gets access really into Unix, essentially, and gets into be able to do shell commands and things like that. But we want to get into our command line interface. Well, it's a really catchy command for it. All we have to do is type in CLI. And there we are. Notice we've changed now back to our operational prompt. Now, realistically, from a root standpoint, okay, th this kind of gets into to overall device security and everything else, you don't want to use that every single time as far as your methodology of, of getting into a router. You, you just don't want to do that. You, you'll get in there the first time, you'll do your basic setup, and then you'll go through and secure it and not tell anybody else about it. Well, okay, you probably should tell the rest of your group, but yet you want to keep things as secure as possible that way. If everybody's getting in as root, you really have no accountability whatsoever. So we'll talk about all those things as we go through. But let's get with the, the back to the basics here again. Percent prompt is my shell prompt, okay? So that's my Unix shell. Type CLI, I'll get into that operations mode, which is the same starting point as if I logged in as a regular user. Now, of course, really the, the nuts and bolts of what we came here for is configuration. So in order to get to configuration, it's really kind of catchy. We type in configure or we just hit some letters to begin with and hit the space bar and it'll actually complete the rest of it for us and we get our third prompt. Okay, so that's going to be our other prompt that we look at in here. So if we take a look at all the details, all the things that we have, we see each of those. We have a percent prompt, we have a greater than sign prompt, and we have a pound prompt. So I would know those things for our exam, okay, and as far as being able to identify where we are throughout the navigation. I hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.